So epic deep linking. Can you tell us about how that's being leveraged in your organization today? Once we went live, the next call we had for our weekly call, Kevin's like, all right, time for deep linking. So we started our journey again. You know, what is it? What will it do? How does it benefit? With deep linking, so important with the epic embedded link. Again, once they use that, it attaches that patient to that message. And when a message goes out to any provider that uses Hack or Canto or another nurse that has a Rover device, you will see this link inside that message. You can see it on the screen. It's that blue link there. If they click that link, it actually will open Rover for them. They can open the patient record in Rover. They can see vital signs. They can look at the patient record. They can place orders in Rover for them to be able to quickly place those orders. Our hospitalists are just over the moon with it, especially at nighttime communication when sometimes they can struggle a little bit with communicating because they're covering so much. This just helps them in ensuring a quick and timely manner of looking at the patient record and then, oh, hey, uh, they're asking me to order this medication. It has definitely been a huge win-win for our organization. I love it. And it, it touched on something that's a little bit of a hot button issue for many health systems right now due to the recent changes from CMS and Joint Commission around placing of orders. So it sounds like deep linking is solving that challenge within your organization while uh, you're working through policy changes. Is, is that right? Yes. As CMS and Joint Commission continue to update what their recommendations are, and while Roper investigates how they want to proceed, this actually closes the gap so they no longer have to go to Epic and open it up to a computer. They can do it quickly and easily from their telemedic message and do it within policy because <laughs> they're doing it from within Canto or Haku. So how long did it take you to launch Deep Linking? So after we went live with our embedded messaging, Deep Linking took us about, about two months from start to finish. And that includes pulling in our ClinDoc person again, our integration team again, doing our testing. I, I actually had my pilot users for about two weeks. So it probably could have went a little faster, but uh, it was really quick. It was a very light lift for us at Roper uh, because they were so excited. It's so easy to use. Fantastic. Uh, so that typical implementation timeline is four to eight weeks. That can be decreased, uh, especially if we're doing it in conjunction with embedded messaging. 